hey guys this is balu from balu prime and once again welcome you all back for an exciting tutorial in this tutorial i will show you how we made this kind of cloth simulation in blender easily so hope you guys will find the tutorial useful but before going to that if you end up liking this video please click on that like button do share this content and if you are new to this channel consider subscribing my channel and support me so further without any do let's begin today's video so here you can see i'm using blender 2.93 nice now let's select everything as defaults and by pressing a on the keyboard and delete so now let's start this by creating a plane which is going to be the cloth so go to this add mesh select a plane here so now let me increase the scaling by pressing s on the keyboard and increase the scaling here and let me increase the scaling in y axis so press s y and increase the scaling in y axis now let me rotate this so press r x 90 okay so now select this move tool and let me place this just about the grid here okay so now let's add some subdivisions onto this plane so press tab on the keyboard for edit mode right click subdivide and come here and number of cuts i will make it 75 and hit tab once again to exit edit mode okay so now let's convert this plane into cloth so for that select the plane come to this physics property and select the cloth here so now if i play this you can see the plane will be falling down so now let's work on that so press one on the keyboard for front view okay so now press tab once again for edit mode make sure you are in this vertex mode click on this and select all the vertices here above all the vertices now come to this object data properties and click on this plus sign to create a vertex group and you can rename this as i will rename this as pin and click on this assign button so now we can exit this one by pressing tab once again okay so now come to this physics property scroll down to the shape come to this shape and in pin group select the group which we have created so simply select that one okay so now if i play this you can see the cloth will not be falling down okay so now let's add an object in the scene that interacts with the cloth so here i have downloaded hulk model from sketchfab and i have assigned or added animations using mixamo so if you want to learn how to add animations onto the 3d models using mixamo you can click on the i card above so now let me import that model with the animation so go to this file import it is an fbx file so click on this fbx and i think this is the one and import fbx so here you can see we got the model here so if i play this this is a walking animation on hulk so now let me place this here just behind this cloth okay and let me select this armature and let me hide it out okay so if i play this now you can see nothing is happening now because we need to make the hulk model as a colliding object so select the model come to this physics property and add this collision okay so if i play this now you can see the cloth will be interacting with our model okay so you can find these blocky kind of things on the cloth so select the cloth right click shade smooth okay fine so now select this cloth come to this quality steps you can increase this quality step so i will increase this to six and rest and all i will leave like that only default settings works better it seems and let me come to this collisions and enable this self collision okay now come to this cache here you can select the start and end frame so i will leave it to 1 and 250 so now let me bake this one first so simply click on this bake button so here the bake is done so now let's see this animation nice so we got our animation ready here so if you want to duplicate this cloth and place it just side by side like a curtain kind of thing we can do that so let me show you that one also so first let's delete all the bakes first so delete the bake so now let me place this here like this and duplicate it by pressing shift plus d and press y to move it forward and g x to move it next x x like this okay nice so now this acts as a curtain as the hulk walks through so now let me bake this also before do that let me enable this cavity and shadows okay so now click on this bake button 
so now the bake is done so now let's play this and see the result so here you can see now we are getting this cutting kind of resemblance here so now let's add a ground plane finally so go to this add mesh select a plane press s increase the scaling here okay so here we can see we got our cloth simulations created in blender easily so hope you guys have learned something new from this tutorial if you have learned anything new please like share and subscribe my channel to support me so we'll meet in the next video until then signing off take care bye